Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. It's time to explore J cuts and L cuts, also called split edits. Shout out goes to Aklish Reje for requesting this tutorial a few years ago. <laughs> yes, it's taken me a while to get this. Uh, but I, I, I needed the right material and I didn't have it. So actually I made the right material. Now let's give credit to where uh, credit is due and the amazing Dee Dee Allen. Let's give her credit because uh, before Dee Dee, uh, there were no split cuts, L cuts. Dee Dee edited Body, Bonnie and Clyde, The Hustler, Slaughterhouse Five, Serpico, Dog Day Afternoon, Breakfast Club. Um, if you haven't seen these movies, you should because they are fantastic and uh, they have some great editing. I mean, Dee Dee is just, she's one of the, the original editors that pushed editing. And before J Cuts and L Cuts, you couldn't have something do that because it was just considered wrong. So, um, it's, it's really, really simple. Um, and it has to do with, with rolling edits. And I'll show you how we can do this multiple different ways. But I want to play you this scene right now. And somewhere in here is a J cut. So let's just have a listen. All right, so you think you know where it was? Okay, it's the plane. Let's go have a look. So here's the, uh, here's that edit. I've got a bunch of clips, including all the, the shots of the young woman. And then there is the plane. So these are just straight cuts in here. There's nothing unusual. It's the audio that's different down in the bottom. This clip, if we turn on linking and I click on this, you can see that the beginning of this clip starts before the actual edit. And the shape is not exactly a J, but that's where they get the J cut. It's a split edit because it's split between the top and the bottom, the audio and the video. Now an L cut is just the opposite. It takes this and, oops, let me go back to unlinking and it moves this over to the other side. Now I don't have enough of the clip, but that's an L cut where it goes the other way. So let's play that back again, but this time I'm just gonna do a straight edit and you'll see how jarring it is. All right, it's the exact same thing without the jig. Hey babe, how you doing? I'm thinking uh, maybe I'll come and see you. What do you think? <laughs> I could be there this weekend. Okay. In the DJ cut, the airplane sneaks up on you. It, it comes in a little bit softer. And, it, and it's also a conceptual thing, too, that you can have a stylistic kind of thing where... Um, the next scene could have meaning to the previous scene and the sound of that may be recognizable or not recognizable. And it's either going to draw the viewer in, well, it should just draw the viewer in, but maybe it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's questioning something to them, like what is that sound? Or a foreboding thing where they hear that sound, they recognize that sound, and that is a bad sound. Lots of different ways to play with it. So I'm gonna show you the different ways to actually move that edit around. Okay, so let me get rid of the, uh, I've got a little um, cross dissolve in there. So typically when, when you've got your clips in the timeline, these clips have audio and video linked together and they're a typical clip. 
Now, this one is a little harder for me to, to work with because I'm already at the ends of that, but um, we'll deal with oh, You know what? Let, let's actually, let's trim, trim this so we've got something to go the other way. So both of these have been trimmed. There's no white triangles on this. This is the um, link selection button. And whenever you click on something, you're clicking on both. You can alternatively, well, let me, let me just do it the easy way. So we turn off link selection and we get the rolling edit tool. So in here, there's the ripple and then there's the rolling edit tool. The rolling edit tool moves both of these at the same time. So if you want a J cut, you click and drag this over to the left. If you want an L cut, you click and drag it over to here so that the audio keeps going into the next clip. And that's great, that's easy, that's easy to do. But if you want to, you can um, use the move tool and a couple of keyboard shortcuts. Let me walk you through that. So we'll go back to the move tool, we leave link selection on. So the first thing to understand about linking selection is if link selection is on and you add the Alt key on Windows, the Option, option key on Mac, it does the opposite of linking. When I click on something, it will unlink it temporarily. So Alt, Option, click, now I'm only clicking on that. Option, click, clicking on that. If you hold the Control key on Windows, the Command key on Mac, with the, the Move tool, it turns into the Rolling Edit tool. If you add Alt or Option on that, now you're clicking in here at the same time. So Control, Alt, Windows, Command, Option, Mac gives you the Rolling Edit tool, Unlink Selection, click, and you're ready to go. Now, you can, with those same keyboard shortcuts held down, you can now move those around freely. What if you wanted a little bit more precision? Well, with that selected, you could, if you have a numeric keypad, type in a number. So if I type in minus 10, enter, then I've moved that minus 10 frames to the preceding and I've made that J cut. There's no right and wrong, it's just how you feel um, comfortable in, in working with this. I'm freewheeling, I just like to, to drag it, look at it, listen to it and then feel that uh, that cut. So if we go all the way back to the original that I had, um, I just stuck a dissolve on this and you can do that by selecting, uh, you can do that with, with the selection of these clips. And if you hold Control Shift D, so let me get rid of that. Control Shift D on Windows, whoops, I'm gonna, click in there, control shift D or command shift D on the Mac adds a default cross dissolve audio transition in there and it smooths it out. If I don't have that, let me just play that back. This is the, the same cut without that. What do you think? <sighs> I could be there this weekend. Okay. So it still works as a split edit, but that little dissolve helps that. Okay. And I could have uh, added a keyframe if I want to at the same time, but the keyframe, you'd have to move that around. It's a little, little trickier. I think it's just easier to throw across dissolve on that. So what's your homework? Go watch some Dee Dee Allen uh, movies, go rent them, watch them wherever they, they might be streaming. Uh, some fantastic editing uh, tips. Uh, many of these techniques are just standard uh, today, uh, but Dee Dee was uh, one of the top ones. Go watch Bonnie and Clyde. That, uh, when I was a kid and I watched that, that gave me nightmares. The scene at the end, I got nightmares. I love that movie. Okay. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. We're getting to that magic number pretty soon. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through our online store at videoreveal.com. The shop there, you can donate once or monthly, any amount. There's a whole bunch of free stuff and some other things that you can buy. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to help spice up your editing tools.